everyone, I finally made it to Tirtaganga and I was so lucky because I was number one here. Yeah, I was first. Um, so I had a lot of time to take a decent picture. Um, my driver did a very good job actually, so I'm very happy about that because it's like almost impossible to put a tripod here. And as you can see behind me, everyone is almost standing in line to take like a decent picture. So yeah, I'm so happy that, that I was first. So the early bird gets the worm and that's always the truth. So yeah, now I'm just gonna continue to explore because this is really a very beautiful place. I'm here at a fantastic viewpoint my driver uh, told me to come here and he was so right because look at this I don't know yeah there is the volcano and I know my hair sucks right now but I just took some pictures um, there's a volcano and you can see some rice fields over there it is incredible I am so grateful for being here this is so pretty Wow, this is a perfect day and I'm so lucky because the mountain, there are no clouds now and every single day I was here there were always clouds, yeah, oh. happy, happy, happy. <laughs> I am at Taman Ujung Water Palace <laughs> and the strange thing is that there aren't that many people here even though this place is gorgeous you can take so many pretty pictures here and yeah, it's just a magical place so please if, you, if you're in Bali you should, you should really come here <laughs> I don't understand because <laughs> I was stressing about the fact that maybe there would be so many people that I wouldn't be able to take pictures but it's just fine and the bridges are so beautiful they have so many carvings yeah it's a perfect place
morning everyone I am back at Taman Uyung because yesterday the light was very harsh and now it is so beautiful because the Sun is rising and the light is so warm I love it like that and yeah I'm just walking around this place yeah I really like it here it's so peaceful and look they are doing some gymnastics over there <laughs> Right now I am at Bengripuram and it is a traditional old Balinese village. And it is actually quite interesting to see how the people live here. But some houses are made of bamboo and are so primitive and other houses have like the most amazing doors, the most amazing windows and they all have their own temples and it's incredible. Greetings from Tengelalang and I am so happy actually at the moment because um, how shall I explain normally I hated Tengelalang because the first time I came here there were so many people and I was so disappointed because I thought it wasn't beautiful at all and it was like oh totally overrated but now I went to like kind of a sidetrack um, it is a way more quiet spot and it is way more beautiful because there are so many palm trees here and like these red plants, I don't know how you call them, but it makes it so much more beautiful. And I already took so many pictures with the help of my driver. Where are you? Oh, there he is. <laughs> That's G'day. Yeah. And he's the best, really. I like him so much. He's helping me a lot with taking pictures, he has so much patience. I mean, you are very patient. <laughs> he's tolerating me, really. <laughs> No, but it is really the best place and now I know all those Instagrammers where they go You're not going to the Tegela Lang, you're going somewhere else, you liars
back to Ubud in my favorite hotel, Kalma Ubud. And I am going to have my lunch here. It is already half past three. But I am so hungry because I didn't have like real breakfast or lunch. So here I am in paradise. So as I told you before, I am back at Kalma Ubud and I have a massive room now. Behind me you can see the huge bed. Again, I love huge beds in Bali and it looks so comfortable. And behind me you can see a kitchen that I won't use maybe just to wash my bathing suits. <laughs> And here is a seating area, but I shall um, maybe give you a tour without my face in front of it. <laughs> so this is the huge bed I told you about. There is the kitchen I told you about. Love that mirror, by the way. <laughs> then here I have a seating area, a TV, all my bags. <laughs> oh, and I also have something that I didn't have before here. I have my own private terrace right there. Then I have this beautiful thing. I don't know how you say this in English. <laughs> so, yeah, seating area again, kitchen, and Hello there! <laughs> this is the bathroom, which I haven't seen before and it looks so nice. I love all those baskets. Look how pretty they are. And I also love the floor. Look how it all matches. It is wonderful. And that's a huge shower. <laughs> I have to say that I am always very pleased at this hotel. Food is great, rooms are super clean, rooms look so nice. Um, I would I think I'm going to add some stuff from Bali to my furniture as a decoration because <laughs> I love it and Now I think I'm going to the center of Ubud because there's not much to do tonight So maybe I can just hang around there maybe already do some shopping because I want to go shop tomorrow And maybe have dinner there. I don't know and then just take a taxi back to the hotel so yeah, let's do that. So right now I am having dinner with a new friend that I made from France. Hi! Hi, meet Alex. Hi! I'm already... She's from Paris and we met at a hotel and we wanted to go shopping together and now we are here. So it's a perfect evening actually. We're having cocktails and they are very, very good. What are you having? Ginger. It's a ginger face. <laughs> and moi j'ai le... No, now I'm... <laughs> I start in French. <laughs> Sorry. I have the lychee colada and it's very very good so now we're going to enjoy our meal. Bye bye. <laughs>